Tuesday, baby. Boy, howdy shit, what a Tuesday. We got, yeah, we got things to talk about. Judith Daniel, Denver, out in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. This is a shirt that she sent me a while back ago, and it's going to be very appropriate today later on in our conversation. But uh, Judith Danvers, I appreciate the shirt, and uh, girl, you you got your plate full out there. I'm telling you. So what's going on? There's a lot going on today, baby, we got to talk about. So I want to go ahead and get the fun shit out of the way. The stuff that I found absolutely ridiculous. And uh, first one I want to start off with, oh my God, Bill O'Reilly, did you see him on TV this morning? Or no. Uh, they, not him, he wasn't on the, his interview on the, oh, his podcast, I think it was, where he's mad at God for what his family is going through. Bill O'Reilly pays out $32 million on a sexual harassment settlement. And as we discussed yesterday, we know what that means. $32 million means that's a lot of evidence you're buying. That's a lot of videotape, pictures, audio recordings. I don't know. Your grandma telling it on your ass. I don't know, Bill. It's a stack of evidence. $32 million worth of evidence is what you paid for, Bill. How are you mad at God for this? You said if you died today, you'd go up there and, hey, and say, hey, why did you put my children through this? You're blaming God for your shit? You said you had proof that all of these charges were bullshit. It's all crap, you said. Bill, if you had proof, you wouldn't have paid the $32 million. Either that, or you're just so stupid, you just go, okay, here's 32 million. No, Bill, you're bloviating, asshole. Isn't that what you always told your people don't do? No bloviating. Ah, Bill, knock it off. Go away. Shut your mouth. You're a pervert. You're a sexual harassment asshole. You're a predator. That's what you are, Bill. Shut your mouth. Go away. Nobody wants to listen to your ass anymore. You know, what can I say? Roy Moore of Alabama. Now, we've had him on the show before. He's got it, uh, Bannon's guy down in Alabama between uh, uh, Roy Moore and, uh, oh, now done funny got that other fella's name. Look how fast they go. Anyway, he's going to be running for the Alabama Senate, and he's uh, Bannon and, 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 and Bannon's choice, not Trump's, but uh, Bannon's choice. And why is he in the news? Why? He's, he's the guy that whipped out the gun at his campaign rally. You know, hey, look at me. I got, boom, look at me. I got a gun. I got a gun. Because that's what works up his crowd. He's got a gun on him. Yeah. Miss, he made a comment saying that the gay marriage law, the... Uh, Supreme Court passed it's legal for gays to marry, he says, is worse than the court's 1857 decision upholding slavery. He's talking about the Dred Scott decision that declared that black people were property. That's why we had a civil war and overturned that shit. Roy Moore thinks that gay people being allowed to marry the person they love is worse than owning black people. Alabama, take heed of this moron, this disgusting creature that's, he, he, he's like a, a he's, he's the snot of a snail. I don't know what to call him anything lower than that. He's just a scumbag from the word go. He's the one that thinks that uh, if you're not a Christian, you should be shot in the head. He is ISIS in America. That guy is Sharia law in America. You want, you're afraid of the, uh, of Sharia law? Well, turn it around. That guy right there would put Christian Sharia on your ass in a heartbeat. Don't think he wouldn't. He's a wacko son of a bitch in, in, in Trump terms. He's a wacko. Anyway, those are the two big funny things today that came out. And then we get on to the serious shit that's happening in our house. Bob Corker back out in the news today. And Corker, he's not going to run. Tennessee, boy, he's uh, not going to run for Senate anymore. He's going to get out. And uh, But he made a statement, and he's been talking. He said that, uh, oh, Donnie the dick boy there, 
the asshole liar up in our house debases our country, devalues it, puts a stain on our country. That's what Corker's saying. He debases our country, lessens the value of our country by him even being in our house. Corker, the president has great difficulty with the truth. Well, we've been saying that for a while. He's a lying sack of shit. He has been lying since he put his hat in this stupid ring. He's been lying long before that with the birther crap. Donald Trump is nothing but a stinking liar. And anybody who believes or follows his ass is so gullible that we out here with the critical thinking skills think you're morons for doing it. Because it displays it every freaking day. And now we have Republican, Republican coming out. Saying it in un, no uncertain terms now. He has proved himself unable to rise to the occasion. I don't think that that's possible. He's talking about everything in general. It, it, to rise to the level of being a president. With his shit with the NFL, with, with the widow of Le David Johnson. He just, he thrives on shit. He wants to stir up shit. What did Corker say? Something about he divides uh, Corker. The governing model of this White House is to purposely divide. To purposely divide this country. That's what Donald Trump is trying to do. I have seen more commercials coming on about his impeachment. People calling for his impeachment. This whole country is getting sick of a lying sack of shit in our house who continually attacks people for telling the truth. By the way, it's an apple, people. It's not a freaking banana. It's a freaking apple. Anyway, the same untruths. Oh, uh, no, 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 I don't want to get ahead of myself because I, I have all written down because there's so much to talk about. Uh, Donnie heard about this shit and got pissed off. Donnie tweeted out, Bob Corker who helped President O give us bad Iran deal and couldn't get elected dog catcher in Tennessee is now fighting the tax cuts. He's a stinking liar. He's a stinking liar. And, you know, Corker wrote back that the same untruths from an utterly untruthful president. Hashtag alert the daycare staff. He's saying that because if Donnie the dumbass would take the minute to find out information, the facts of anything that he utters out of his mouth, it would be amazing to everybody. But Donnie doesn't do that shit. If he would have looked it up, he would have found out that Corker voted against the Iran deal. Oh, help, no, oh, help President O get the... No, he didn't, Donnie. You are ignorant. You don't care about the facts. Untruths is another way of saying you're a stinking ass liar, Donnie. The whole country thinks you're a stink. The whole world knows our president is a stinking liar. And that's the only way to put it. They can say untruths or, you know, any way they want to misleading. Any other way you want to put that. It's a lie. Alternative facts. How many, so much shit have we learned since Donnie's been in the damn White House? All about alternative facts. Anyway, I'm glad to see Corker coming out and saying something. And being forceful in that way. And I was all set to get down here and do my rant. And then right before I did, I had it all written down here. I was fixing them down here, talking about Corker, Donnie the dumbass, Bill O'Reilly, you know, Dude, I had to whoop out the gun and shoot this shit up. The Roy Moore down in Alabama. Vote for me. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, I was all set to do that. And then right before I came down here, well, we have another bombshell today. Jeff Flake from Arizona. Jeff Flake from Arizona took the, you know, right after, you got to remember, Donnie went up there and had lunch with the uh, senators, the Republican senators today. Had lunch with him. I wonder how that went. Donnie, how did your lunch go? Because it sure doesn't sound like it went too well. You had all that shit with Corker this morning. Corker's coming out calling you a liar. And, 
and, and everything else, and, and, and I, he's right there. I wonder how that went. I just wanted to love to be a bug on that wall, baby. But Jeff Fleck came out, and, and he's not going to run. He's another one that will not run in, in 2018. He doesn't want to run on the Republican ticket in 18. It's making it easier for us, folks, but it's not going to be that easy because po folks like uh, Roy Moore and old Bannon's people are coming there with a gun and they'll shoot it up in the air and get all them little rednecks out there riled up and say, yee hee Yeah, that's what you can expect down there. But Jeff Flake came out and said that the, uh, talking about Donnie the Dickie again, the reckless, undignified, outrageous behavior and untruths at the top of our government. Who is he talking about? Who is an American senator standing on the Senate floor saying that our president is undignified, reckless, outrageous behavior and untruths? Liar. He's a liar. Everybody knows he's a liar. Everybody knows it. It's not a freaking banana. Our kids are watching, he said. I rise to say to president, to the president, enough. We all need to rise to tell that stupid, tiny hand, little petty piss of a man enough of this crap. We are tired of the lies. We're tired of the undignified crap coming out of your, your house. Your house is, it's our house, Donnie. That house is our, you don't like it anyway. You think it's a dump. He's already went through, that's why he leaves it every weekend. He goes out to one of his bribe collection centers every damn weekend. He does not want to be in that White House. He doesn't deserve to be in that house. When decency fails to call out undecency, it is morally treasonable not to speak up. That's what Flex Flex said. Morally treasonable not to speak up. He's talking to the Republicans in the Senate. He is on the floor of the Senate telling them. But there's a problem with that. He went on to say the conduct from the top of the government is dangerous to democracy. Dangerous to democracy. These are Republican senators coming on the floor to tell the American people what they think. This is not a game going on. Trump is trying to make this into some reality TV show. Ooh, wait till the next episode and see what Donnie does tomorrow. We'll screw up America another way tomorrow. Stay tuned, people. American leadership is called into question. Anger and resentment are not a governing philosophy. That's what, his, that's what Flake is saying that uh, Donnie's management style is. Anger and resentment. Hate and discontent, that's what I've said before. That's Donnie's game plan. Hate and discontent. He's raised it in me. I hate the son of a bitch. I think Donnie is a damn offspring when his mama had sex with an orangutan. I heard the story on the TV. It was in the internet. What am I to understand? I saw it there, Donnie. I think your mama screwed a orangutan. I, I heard it. It must be true. I hate the man. I can't stand a disgusting piece of crap that sits up in our house every day. And I have family and friends that support this man. That think God sent him here. That God sent him here. Isn't that a disgusting thought? That's how come Bill O'Reilly's mad at God. Because they think everything that happens to them bad is God's fault. Y'all say God has a plan for everything. Well, guess what, Bill O'Reilly? God's plan for you is to have your ass pay $32 million and be uh, nothing but, uh, uh, your, your career is nothing but a sexual predator. Just like Donnie the dick up there in our house. That's what we have. Sexual predators. Uh, Roger Ailes and Weinstein and all them shit. He said he will not be complacent or silent anymore. Jeff Flake is not going to be complacent. He's not going to be some play. He's got about a year and a half left in the Senate. Do you think, I haven't, I haven't seen the response because this happened just before I came down here. Do you think that 
Donnie is, is a little upset right now with Jeff Flake. You think Donnie's already coming up with a nasty name for Jeff Flake already? He's getting ready to tweet out some bullshit. Where's that damn list of, of, uh, of congressmen and senators? Bob Corker, Ted Cruz with an asterisk. Jeff Flake, Mitch McConnell, Ron, Rand Paul, Ben Sice of Nebraska, Lindsey Graham, Dean Heller of Nevada, John McCain from Arizona, Lisa McCroskey from Alaska, Mario Rupp, Marco Rubio from Florida. These are all congressmen and senators that Donnie the Dick has personally attacked. These are all Republicans. Donnie doesn't care. He'll stomp on your ass. I don't know if it's a plan between him and Bannon. Good guy, bad guy, shit, or whatever. It's Donnie's plan to piss everybody off. Get these senators not to run, and Bannon's going to come in with a bunch of wackos like Roy Moore to shoot up the government and crap. We need to wake up, people. This is our country. This is not Donald Trump's country. Donald Trump didn't pay into this. Donald Trump was nothing but a draft dodging coward who never paid taxes into this country, that never gave this country anything. Now he just wants to take more. You know what this is all about? You know how come the rest of the Republicans haven't left Donnie yet? Tax reform. Tax cuts. The tax cuts that the Koch brothers want. Those tax cuts. To hell with health care. To hell with uh, social reform. Anything else. The number one thing that they wanted from Donald Trump when he became president is tax cuts for the wealthy. And those Republicans that are still left are not going to give up on Donald Trump until they get that damn tax cut put through. I'm sure that all the upper echelon of Republican Party, and the Koch brothers included, have all said you get the tax cut done and on the books and then you can throw his ass to the lions. They will desert his ass because he can't be defended. He's nothing but a stinking liar. He does not rise to the level of president. He doesn't rise to the level of a car hop. Can I take your order, sir? He can't get that done. He's, he's, he's a washout from everything he's ever done. He's made billions off of selling a, a fake product, a name. That's it. Trump stakes the oh, bullshit. Trump wine bullshit. Trump University, a scam job. He is a scam. You ask anybody that knew him in New York. New York can't stand his ass because he's nothing but a scumbag. Ah, a scumbag. There's a lot coming out in our country. The Republicans are turning on him, those that, that, that are, 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 have balls enough to stand up to this, that aren't willing to sell our country down the tubes for, for a tax cut. We're worth more than that. And the tax plan that he's got out benefits nothing but the rich. The rest of us chump off, baby, just like everything else, like the health care and like everything else the Republicans have tried to push through it's all a bunch of bullshit for the rich people. And they'll sell it to you like tied up in a Christmas bag. And you'll think it's something grand. That's what they want. But we're standing up, baby. <clears throat> we're coming together and we'll continue to come together. But we need to keep this up, this push on the government, the pressure on your senators and your congressmen, that we will not stand for such an ungrateful parasite in our house. He feeds on this stuff. He just, this is what they want. This is what Steve Bannon and Donald Trump want. They want a civil war. They want the destruction of this country. They want us to turn against each other. For what? I don't know. So Russia can come in the back door and take us over? I don't know. You could come up with all sorts of conspiracy theories because they, the right always does. Your Obama's coming to get your gun. You know, you can't say Merry Christmas. All that kind of shit. All kind of stupid crap. And people like Fox News and Bill O'Reilly and Alex Jones and all those right-wing nut jobs and Donnie the Dick try to sell to you. Y'all need to stop listening to that. You moral Republicans. You Republicans that have some moral value left in you. You're your godly standards are demanding that you stand up and call a liar a liar. The evangelical right should stand up and say he is a untruth teller. Don't have to say the word L, you know, liar. Just say 
untruth. He can't handle anything without telling a lie about something. We got work to do, people. Because the handwriting's on the wall. He's got to go. He's got to go. Impeachment and impeach now before he ruins this country anymore. These congressmen, these senators need to stand up, more of them every day, just like Bob Corker, like Jeff Flake, and call up an apple an apple. I like that CNN commercial. It's a direct hit on Donnie. It's not a freaking banana, Donnie. It's not fake news, Donnie. It's all real shit. Just because you call it, ooh, lie, 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 because all your minions will believe that shit. We're not minions, Donnie. We love this country. Our threads are all through this fabric, baby, and that, it, that fabric covers this whole country. We just got to work them kinks out and get them back in line, make our fabric nice and smooth again by getting rid of Donald Trump. Anyway, that's all I got today. That's enough, I think. There's probably more shit going on. Like I said, Trump ain't had time to respond to the flake shit. That just happened before I came down here. I got to go up and see all the circus after that. That's going to, you know, that's coming out. So, uh, Stay tuned for tomorrow because I'm sure we're going to have a whole lot more to talk about because the fireworks are starting, baby. The fuses have been lit to get him impeached. There's Republicans saying it, and there's Democrats saying it. There are TV commercials begging the populace to get on board and let's get his ass impeached because he's embarrassed this country enough. He's embarrassed us all too much. Hey, like, share, and subscribe, jump. I like to slap that thing. It just sits right there, and every time I get aggravated, I slap I bet these pins, every time they go down, they hit this piece of steel down. Ow. See, they're driving all the way through Donnie's little pin brain. Anyway, y'all take care. Like, share, and subscribe. John Brito of Blue Dot in Texas. Uh, John Brito speaks. Don, thank you very much. On Twitter, at Blue Dot in Texas, or out my truck window, or anywhere else you can hear me. I'm going to spread this message. Let's get this asshole out of our house. We can be proud of America again. As long as this guy's in there, he debases our country on a daily basis. So let's stop that and get him out. Y'all take care. We'll see y'all tomorrow.